Back then, Honda had a golden era with their authentic enduro bike. This dual sport bike was first released in 1993 as the name of XR650L at North America Market. But after several years, Honda released the XR650R in 2000, especially at the market of North America, Europe, and Australia. The newest XR650L was released in 2022. Honda changed up the graphics on the tank, and they swapped out all of the red plastics in favor of white plastics for the 2022 XR650L. For disclaimer, the XR650L ain't the greatest technology on the market. It ain't even the fastest dual sport motorcycle that you can buy. But if we talked about the durable, basically bulletproof and powerful, XR650L has earned a reputation as one of the best true dual sport motorcycles on the planet. If you're looking for one motorcycle that can do it all, Honda's XR650L is that machine. For new upcoming motorcycle, Honda, based on Obert and Bezzy design, there will be an enduro or scrambler bike that will release for 2025 Honda lineup, that bike called Honda XR650 Scrambler Classic. This Honda XR650 Scrambler will be built based on the 2022 XR650L. There would be a lowered of suspension to make it more usable by all users. It also has 21-inch front wheel that gives you a wide choice of tire selection for different riding conditions and 18-inch rear wheel gives you a better overall ride and more sidewall protection against flats and still offers a wide choice of on- or off-road tires. Powered by bulletproof 644 CCS OHC4 stroke engine produces power and torque ideally suited for both on- and off-road riding. Radial 4 valve combustion chamber that allows excellent combustion efficiency and high power output. And last but not least, a 42.5 mm constant velocity carburetor offers crisp throttle response, excellent drivability and maximum power. For the looks, based on Obert and Bezzy design, the XR650 Scrambler covered by a super classic aesthetic, and it will be painted with the OG Honda racing colors of the 60s. Overall, this dual sport bike offer you a wonderful retro scrambler, which is easy, light, fun, and trendy. If this bike sold at a fair price, with no doubt, it would become a massive success for Honda, though. What do you think, guys? Is a yes or nah?